we are explicitly uh, speaking of this uh, love triangle that um, develops between the Schiller three of them. And uh, Schiller, as he was depicted by Mr. Dominic Graf in the script, was a person who's alive, who has feelings, is a person that you would uh, actually credit with trying to go for the love with two sisters. So we did not make try to make a documentary in order to come up with a brilliant analysis of who Schiller was. I mean, that would be absurd. This was a fictional movie, and we did our best. And, you know, and to me, this uh, really worked. You know, I was looking for this exact person that Dominique Graf uh, sketched in the script. Well, I can only add that, uh, you know, the uh, Sturm und Drang uh, Schiller, the uh, animal side of Schiller, if you will, that uh, was rather radical. You know, this is something that I did not think had a place in this movie. You know, I thought the core, the, the realistic core of the story between the three is one of incredible tenderness and a love you know, that you love love as it is, you know, you uh, describe the words that uh, are necessary for love, you know, they're all three in love with each other, and uh, that um, I think really represented the kind of spiritual framework, you know, eroticism is part of that, but the overall objective was to get their heart beat in rhythm, you know, to just venture out uh, with the, the three souls in unison. Well, yes, of course, I read that uh, in preparation. And it's really interesting, you know, when you're preparing your role as an actor, you actually try to really uh, get into the details and I put it, I mean, it, this also is an element of modernity, if you will, you know, that uh, the type of uh, a novel in installments is being published, you know, and the, you know, it's a story about an orphan that finds out that it's not, uh, it does not have a, a, a poor family background, but is of a rather wealthy of, that it's a, of, of, of a rather wealthy origin, you know, and this was a subject that could be found all through the 19th century. And this is really interesting, you know, how they, uh, how courageous they were to just cut off the story at a certain point and say, okay, just wait until the next month. You know, and, and people were really curious about who wrote these things. And of course, anonymity made the whole thing very interesting indeed. <laughs> Well, of course you have the costumes and you're uh, being made up and uh, you feel like you're acting in a dream world and uh, of course you, you change your body posture instantly and so on and so forth. But you know, we really had a long time for preparing and to get a feel for the time, for the language, the handwriting and of the time, to get acquainted with the music of that era. And that, I think, made things feel rather natural for us, you know, so that after a short amount of time you felt right at home, you know, you didn't feel like you were wearing a costume, you just felt like you were putting on your own clothes. Well, you just asked what the connection is to today's time, you know, and what I think is fascinating is that they, you know, rely on each other in their love and that they are very uncompromising in that way, you know, they, they you know, today everything is so fast uh, and everything changes so quickly and everything seems to be possible, you know, you can have that partner or that partner or change quickly and you don't no longer get to the core of that feeling you know and you no longer get to feel what it's like to really open up completely to a person how you know how wonderf wonderful it can be but also how brutal it can be you know and if something like that can be understood in that movie you know that people say they find these elements touching then I think it's great and it's also it makes this stand out of time you know it's timeless and yes and Schiller as a theatre playwright. Well, his uh, theatre plays, you know, I, I just studied two semesters of uh, German language and German literature, but I think his uh, theatre plays are among the most interesting things that can be found. And at, in his time, it was among the most modern theatre plays, you know, and uh, he uh, really knows as much about storytelling as we are still trying to reproduce after 200 years. You know, he is very concise, he's very detailed, a lot of uh, pathos, but he can he can always reduce things and condense them back. I was always fascinated.